to be creating a personalized campaign with the personalized <clears throat> designs that you may have. So it's a little bit different than just setting up a, a, a normal campaign maybe with a design that is not personalized, just a regular design for your products. So this one, you have to change a little some of the uh, columns and you have to change some of the, the copy and just know a couple of the uh, fields and what they mean, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna duplicate the non-personalized campaign that we have. And we can make, once you have campaigns, you can pretty much duplicate personalized and non-personalized if you'd like. It's good to get one of each set up and that way you can go through and duplicate them. And you're able to um, keep all of the, the personalized settings that you need in place. So we're gonna call this, I love my boxer. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna change that permalink. And then we're going to hit OK. Okay, so now we have the right permalink, and we can start to go through this. So what you want to do is, whenever you duplicate a campaign, it's important to delete the products that you just duplicated, and then add the correct pro uh, products. Okay, so we're gonna, I, we made two personalized uh, products, and you you watch those videos and that training video on how to make a personalized product. So we're going to add the Love My Boxer Black Tea and. Love my boxer black mug. Okay, so what we're going to really focus on here is the columns and the page styling. You know, we have videos for what menus are, uh, external URL, and that type of thing. But what, now we're going to make the columns and the page styling. So when you come into your columns, <clears throat> remember where we when we did the the, the campaign overview, we kind of showed you where what these right hand columns mean and what right hand columns two mean and, and right hand column three and and so on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to actually fill out some of this information. I'm gonna use some copy that I have from a, another campaign that I've already uh, have and we'll just kind of change it. But for now I'm going to, I'm gonna save this draft and I wanna just preview it. So we can kind of see as we're building it where this stuff is going. So you can, you can see right now just duplicate it from the other campaign we have our right-hand column one, right-hand column two, and the size guide and all that stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually start building these and showing you where it's, where how things work. So the most important is going to be this right-hand column one, and I'm just going to take uh, I'm just going to take some of this here, and we'll change it as we go. It's just easier to do that than typing it all out. So in this column, basically, you're going to see this is going to be right below your header, okay? You usually want to start with some type of heading below that. As you can see in this one, uh, here's the title, okay? And then this is kind of something you might want to use as a heading so you can kind of explain what this is, and then we can give them some simple directions to fill out the personalization. So this one will just be, um, I'm going to be really basic with the copy here so we can, we can get through the video and it's not too long. If you love your boxer, well, then this is for you. Obviously, this is very uh, bland, standard copy, but we're just, I'm just going to kind of show you how, these, how this works. So you usually want to have that as around a heading four, okay? And you can bold it so it stands out. Maybe, you know, you can play around with these headings if you want a little bit bigger or smaller. That's up to you. Now, with the personalized products, you want to make sure that you're kind of letting them know exactly what you want them to do. Um, and how they have to actually fill out the, these personalized uh, and make the preview work. Okay, so what we need to tell them to do is to, you know, simply follow. There's a couple steps. You know, first they need to select the kind of the image that they're on. So if we come over here, the first thing you need to do is you kind of select, maybe, well, which one? I like this black one, okay? And so then after that, it's, it's going to say, you know, personalization. Enter, you know, in this case, your dog's name. And then you can enter it here. So that way they know in this box below, they're going to come in and enter whatever they're, you know, for this one, maybe it's um, Nana or something. And then, we're and then we're telling them to click the preview button. So this way they know they kind of pick the one that they may like to order. And the cool thing is, is that it will change on all of the, once it's done loading, it will change on all of the, all of the products in here. So now they, if they click on a, on a sweatshirt, or something or a different product it's already got that name and basically the personalization kind of shows up here it's in the URL at the end so if you were to just
put this URL as another name, it would change it. So that's how that's how this software works. Okay. So in this one, um, we're going to say um, click enter your boxer's name and click the preview button next to it. Okay. Very important. These short codes beneath there, they do mean something, especially with personalization. Okay, the, the nine out of ten times, the the main short code you're going to be using here is this percent four percent. Okay, what that means is this is going to if you need if you put that short code in, it's going to populate this this form right here. So in order for them to see the personalization, you have to have that percent four percent, and I usually put it in the in the right hand column one. Okay. So, okay, moving on. So that's your right-hand column. Again, you know, a little headline, some simple uh, instructions on how to do a, a, what they need to do in order to see their preview. And then we'll kind of move, we'll move down from here, okay? Um, so, and this particular one, we put a, a on the right-hand column too. So this is all right-hand column one. Okay, well, let's just go over here and let's just, let's just, Let's just save this and let's preview it again and see how it looks so far. So you can see how that's changed. And you can see that, you know, here's our text. Here's our products, okay? Um, and your products, whatever one you do have first will be your main product. So we have the black tea here. So that's going to be your main product, okay? Get rid of that. So now we're into this right-hand column too. <clears throat> now you have options um, to put whatever really you want in here. If you want more copy, you can do that. Um, in this, in this, uh, in this one, they have the timer on on the done campaign and the one that we're building right now. We just have the words right-hand column too, so I can show you where they show up at. It's it, it will always be beneath whatever you put in right-hand column one. So if you wanted to put the the form down a little bit lower, you can put that in right hand column two by simply by simply putting that short code in here. So, you know, a manual form, you know, if you're doing manual personalization, um, you would put the manual percent form so they, they show up because you, you've created those in your uh, products. So you'll, you can look at that training video how to create manual personalized products and you'll see what I'm talking about. And if you let's just say we want to move this timer, and if you remember from prior video uh, uh, campaign videos, the timer is basically this this guy here, or oops, that that's a um, uh, that's a uh, inventory little tool. The timer is basically here. You set it up. So if, let's just move that up to right hand column two. Okay, so we'll put that here. And as you go down, right hand column three, and you have right hand column four. Okay. Normally, you don't have to put too many things in this. In these, what you want to tell them is you want to tell them, I want you to pick the pick the image, put your dog's name in here, pick a size, and then um, and then you know add to cart. So I I always like to do maybe in the right hand column too. I like to tell them, okay, after you've entered your information, let's get rid of that timer. Let's go uh, step three. Select your size below. Okay, so that's going to tell them to now that they've they've filled out their information. Now they need to go ahead and and put in what what they want here okay so we'll change all this size drop down and i'll show you what that means so the right hand column one you can do that the right hand column two it's got it's good to put that in uh select your size below because it kind of goes after this point here okay so again you have more you have more columns to do right hand column three four and five okay now the left hand column one is is we have in there this product description short code and that comes from one of these short codes this is taking the description from your product that you've already created in that product description box on your product level and that puts that information right here so this is called the left hand column one and so instead of taking up all this room here we kind of put it right beneath these your thumbnails here so they can see as they as they click on okay now they're going to click on a mug 
So if they click on the mug, they can see here's a, it's a black ceramic mug, here's all your product description. And that usually goes on the left-hand column one. Okay, so let's, let's keep moving down. Oops, wrong one. Now, the footer single column. Okay, now footers is, if you look at this here, you're going to see that your footer, this is your footer, okay? And this is where you can put your privacy policy, your terms of service pages on there. First, you have to create these pages, and that's in another training video. But you have to create these pages. These are pages outside of the Word, outside of the plugin. These are the actual WordPress pages. But you want to also have some type of graphics, letting them know it's a secure checkout. And you can do your research on, on what a, a really good optimized footer should look like <clears throat> for training purposes here. This is kind of what we built a lot of our stores with, a quality guarantee and a secure checkout. So when you're going through, um, you'll see the, there's a footer single column. Okay, so we'll show you where, where that is over here. Uh, that, here's another graphic that uh, we used for um, the right-hand column four. If you see where this is, this goes underneath the, the Add to Cart button. So that's always good to have something similar to this. So why don't we go ahead, let's just copy this. Let's go over here and put that in our right-hand column four. We'll center everything. Okay. So again, it's just a little graphic that you can get find these graphics. Um, and you can insert this media here just by adding the media. So it's always good right underneath to have uh, just another guaranteed safe and secure checkout. PayPal, Visa, MasterCard, you know, a five-star rating, all that kind of stuff. Okay. So if we keep going down to the left-hand column one, in the left-hand column one, it says click the thumbnails to select your product, and then we have product description. So again, this is right underneath your, 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 your products here, so you want to give them some direction, and you, know, you can click on these thumbnails. You've already told them up here, but let them see that below. So we'll, we'll put that here in the left-hand column one, and we'll center these. It's always good to center these things. Okay, a footer single column, you don't, usually we don't use this box. Now the footer left column, this is uh, on the left hand side of the, uh, of the footer. This is the content that you can use. So you can create whatever you would like in your, in your footer left hand column. So we're gonna, just going to put our quality, we're going to just kind of, I'm just going to kind of copy and paste. And as you go through this video, you can use some of this copy. So uh, that's one thing here, but make sure it's, it's accurate to with, with your policies and how you want to run your store. And then here is the, the right-hand column. Now I'm going to put this in here. Oops, I put it in the wrong one. So this is here. And this actually should be in the footer left, not the single. Okay, so again, this is a graphic. Okay, this is something that we inserted. This is a this is a graphic that we, we received. So you can, um, you know, you can change this up. And then when you do put your privacy policy, you want to make sure that you're linking over to these two things. And if you have a one eight hundred number, you know, link that too. But when you do have a privacy policy policy page in terms of service, you need to link over to those pages. So you want to make sure you just come up here and use the editor and just you know.